How's it going, everyone? Um, ugh. Work in progress. I'm still getting all moved in and set up. But this is what will probably be the domain where I make a majority of my videos. With the exception of the bathroom, because that's where I'll be showing off my wicked beard. So, uh, as I said, there's going to be some unboxing coming up. And uh, I wanted to get one done real quick, because uh, I'm going to be pretty busy this weekend. I'm going to be down in Waikiki, partying it up. Anybody on the island, come on down. I'm easy to spot. Oh, so, we're going to do a quick little unboxing from CGC. Uh, uh, I was able to uh, get some signatures done while I was at the amazing Comic-Con Aloha. And uh, that was back in February, before most of the coronavirus stuff started getting really serious. Um, I was prepping a little bit, but I wasn't sure how serious it was going to be, as I'm sure a lot of us in February. I mean, we knew something was going on, but we didn't know how bad. Anyway, oh, uh, this came while I was away in Delaware. I'm really eager to see. And actually, there's a bunch of boxes over there, but we're going to do one today. This says Raw Books. Is this from CGC? It says it's from CGC. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four. Let's see, shipping. Okay. Huh, that's strange. Taped, I don't remember getting any raw books. Now, okay, for the uninitiated, raw means they haven't been slabbed. So I'm wondering why they would send me raw books. I'm hoping this doesn't mean a bunch of my books came back. I've never heard of that happening. What is this? This is oh i know what this is well i think i know what this is what was this included that's strange and a pen you know what i think this is oh this is a shipping kit <laughs> okay so well a shipping kit so this is basically everything you need to submit books to CGC um, in a safe and effective manner. Um, and that's exactly what this is. They give you these um, pre, these books that, you, or well, these miniature boxes that you kind of just set up and uh, insert your stuff in. Backing boards, bags, this nice little protectant, and uh, there's this smaller box in here, and this is what you would mail back to CGC. Wow, that's okay. Well, I got all excited, um, even though that this is still pretty cool. So, yeah, they give you all everything you need to pack up your books and send them in, which is which is good. Um, I. Uh, I got a bunch of books waiting to be slabbed. Um, I have uh, a, well, I have the first appearance of Deadpool. I have the first appearance of uh, Laura Kenny, who some of you uh, may know from that last movie with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, Logan. Uh, she was X-23. Um, uh, ooh, I have a, a Ghost Rider number one, uh, a Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider number one. Not his first appearance, um, but nonetheless. And this will allow you submit your books. They get graded um, anywhere between a, a zero, zero, I've never seen it, but I'm sure it's possible, <laughs> to a, 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 a 10.0, which 
those are almost impossible to get because even, even just coming off the production line can damage the book ever so slightly. Usually the, the highest anyone can realistically hope for is the 9.8. Um, I can't tell yet if this is gonna be um, reversed. So if this says to you, eight point backwards nine, it's actually 9.8. Well, since I have you here, I'm going to go reach over and grab another one of these boxes. Why not, right? Oh, now this one's got a lot more weight to it. Oh. So I think we're going to actually hit gold with this. All right, here we go. Now, for my Instagram... I've been going under the, the handle Shameless McNasty, which is a long story involving a, uh, a drunk St. Patty's Day and a monologue I gave where I was trying to say Seamus McNasty um, and doing it in, in the style of the Highlander. <laughs> Ooh. So anyway, I'm looking for uh, ideas for a good handle. Uh, I'm promoting Beard Struggle products and I'm showing off comic books and, and, and collectibles and I don't know, Shameless McNasty still kind of works for my sick, twisted sense of humor, but uh, I need a little something to help me, that helps illustrate my, I guess you can call it brand, right? Okay, so here we go. These are all signature series. Now what that means is um, a, an authorized or licensed agent had to witness the signature. Um, if they are not authorized or licensed by CGC, doesn't matter. Even if it came released in a bag, like an old X-Men by uh, uh, Romano, um, he, it was sold with his signature in a bag, but they will not certify that. It comes back as a green label or qualified. Um, or you can just go with a blue. Here we go. Check this baby out. Green Lantern, number one, issued January 2019, and it was signed by the artist Jim Chomp. Oh, it's really beautiful, actually. It's gorgeous. And I got a 9.8. Woohoo! That means I took really good care of the comic before I sent it off, which is very hard to do when, you know, you're a reader. DC's Year of the Villain Special Number One, also signed by Jim Chung, featuring The Batman Who Laughs. Oh, I love it. Okay, ooh, now this. My other Green Lantern, same, also. Ooh, no, this one got a 9.6. Huh. White pages. I don't see anything here indicating why I didn't get the full 9.8, but that's okay. Anything above a 9? Well, actually, you know what? It really depends. But when it comes to modern ages, anything above a 9.6 or 9... Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm happy that anything turns out good, you know? Ooh, 9.8. Suicide Squad Rebirth. Sketch issue signed by Philip Tan. Ha! Ah, now this was great. Lando number one. All right, signed by Billy D. Williams. Boom. Now I didn't think about this. All right, I have a um, a comic uh, adaptation of the original Batman movie where Billy D. Williams played Harvey Dent, and it totally totally slipped my mind. I should have brought that to the convention to get it signed. Uh, but you live and learn, right? Oh, now this one's great. Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. But on the cover, oh, the bag is a little messed up, so we'll pull that out. But the cover is classic Johnny Blaze. And this one was signed by Donny Cates. Now, Donny Cates, um, He's a, he's, he's a writer. He does most of the stories, and he's... That guy's awesome. Um, his, his stories... Uh, and, and 
Okay, so anyone who's familiar with the old maximum carnage in the 90s remembers how kind of gruesome that one was. Well, they just recently did an absolute carnage. Donny Cates was at the helm of that. And whoo, we're talking about bloody, gory, very, uh, very implicit. Now, a lot of the, 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 the artistry didn't really reflect some of that, but the story definitely implied the violence that was going on. Mm. Venom number one, which he also worked on this story, Donny Cates. That's great. The um, Ryan Stegman, he did, and uh, J.P. Mayer, he did the cover. They, excuse, they did the cover. Oh no, they did the book art. My, sorry, you guys got to bear with me. I've been blown up a few times. My brain don't work as well. Uh, Francesco Matina, he did the cover art for this. Hmm. Wow, a lot of these bags have these little hymns in them. Ah, Powers of X. Philip Tan, again, he did the cover for that. Nice depiction of the Phoenix. Oh, another 9.6. That's all right, though. It's Amazing Spider-Man, number one, um, from uh, September 2018. And on it, She's, she's just, she's one of my favorites, Felicia Hardy. Uh, you know, uh, if I can, uh, whew. Mm. Where's my cosplayers at? Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Batman number one. Uh, this is from the Rebirth 2016. Um, Philip Tan, he did the cover on this one too. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, here we go, back to Donny Cates. Um, I wasn't too impressed with the cover art on this, I'm sorry. I, I am, I, I'm sure it's really good, it's just the style is, is not something I really find. For me personally, but the story is kick-ass, the story is great. Um, again, another Donny Cates. Uh, Venom, number nine. Ooh, this is the first appearance of uh, Dylan Brock, Eddie Brock's son. Uh, again, Donny Cates. If you ever get the chance to meet Donny Cates, really cool dude. You, you Definitely worth it. Ooh, Venom, number seven. Again, first appearance of... Uh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, this is... Okay, so 